What's going on everybody? Welcome back to this episode of G4 Outdoors. As promised, here is your three month review on the 2020 Toro Time Cutter with the My Ride. As you can see, this thing is still striping fantastic, but take a look at the front tires for me real quick. I am mowing extremely wet grass. And if you can see out here, there is minor clumping. I'm talking about minor clumping. If this was a front yard, I'd go over and double cut it just to get those clumps out of the way. But this is my field and I'm gonna leave it just as is. But as you can see, the cut quality is, it's wet grass and it is cutting phenomenal. Uh, the deck could be washed out right now, and that is because the grass is so wet. It, it's not meant to be mowed right now. I should wait until about noon. Let all this dry up. It's going to get the grass out of there a lot quicker. Now, let's go into some things that I think that you guys are probably looking at. Uh, keep in mind, this is still a sponsored video by Toro. Uh, I am wearing a Toro shirt today. And a lot of people say, look at this guy wearing Toro. He's going to tell you all the good things. Not on G4 Outdoors. I want to go over some things real quick. Now, they do have quick release pulley covers that go on here. Uh, I, have, I have talked to the product manager of this. Told him that the pulley covers easily vibrate off. There are some other people that have left comments on my videos saying that it, that has happened. But a good thing with Toro, they do listen. I called, I told them. They said they will be working on that and looking at that. They haven't had any complaints on that problem yet, but that was three months ago. So I'm sure that some calls have come in. They will be sorting these problems out. Now, one other thing that I do have a problem with is the oil drain tube. There is a male piece underneath this lid right here, and it goes into this drain tube. What happens is that is not lubricated when it leaves the factory, nor when the, who, the dealer, whoever you buy this from, they don't oil this in. Well, they do put oil in it, but they do not lubricate this tube to fit onto a plastic piece. Now, if you're anything into automotive or anything like that, you know that rubber hoses get stuck onto plastic nipples. Uh, not 
to run off on a different subject there. But plastic and rubber, once they dry out, they like to adhere to each other. So trying to get this off of here, that will break. Uh, like I said, Toro listens, Toro fixes. Toro knows about this problem and they are fixing it. They're not gonna have the nipple underneath here anymore. They are just gonna have a plug that folds over and puts in here that's held on to this tube. So they listened, they are fixing it, so your model may not even come like this. It may already have the plug that goes in here. So as you can see here on the deck, the blade is visible. That, that's my fault. You have a grass flap here for safety. Uh, what I would like to see, I would really like to see Toro come out with an option for a deck cover. Just a metal plate to come across here for those of us that don't like grass flaps and to like to get that grass out there a little bit further. Now, what I'm about to show you is a self-inflicted wound. This is nothing on Toro, although I would like to see them come out with a, uh, a more bendable grass flap. So the grass flap comes out pretty far and it is angled down pretty far. What I did is I hit a fire hydrant and so it, it basically rendered this useless. So if I didn't have this tied up, this is actually pushed down a lot more, which really angles the grass down into one spot and wind rose really bad. Uh, I don't, I do not advise strapping this up. It's, it's dangerous to everybody around beings that the blades are open and that's why I'd really like to see a plate come across here just to cover this up have a flat wall here uh, gosh I think 90% of the mowers have that and it, it just allows that grass to get out there a lot better so the next thing is no that's it if you really want to know my honest opinions go back to my original review of this mower and everything still stands but let's go ahead and get into the rest of the machine all right so first of all the front tires the front tires are plenty big enough to get over any curbs uh, they do absorb quite a bit of, of vibration uh, impacts on the ground the only problem i would like to see a, an extra ply on that tire now this is my own situation i mow around a bunch of thorny locust trees that's my fault i'm not putting that on toro i think i got five plugs in that front tire uh, the 54 inch deck the 54 inch fabricated deck 10 gauge is a very strong deck uh, man alive it, it's a good deck the air quality design to get that grass out of there is on par with with anything i love the grass disbursement on this uh, the handles the handles are just in the right spot i don't know if you can actually adjust these to where you want them i think they just are where they are but you do have a movable seat that does go forward and backwards uh, i did miss a complaint but it's not really a complaint it's just a body style the hand rests are down just a little bit too far for me to rest my hands and reach the control lever uh, we do have a cup holder over here filled with a little bit of trash uh, you fit your iphone right here uh, five to seven gallons of gas plenty of gas to run me through an acre i can probably do two acres on one tank of gas not really sure of the full capacity of that 24 and a half horsepower commercial v-twin motor uh, this is tagged by toro not sure who makes it but toro is the sponsor of this motor now this is a three year unlimited hour warranty on this engine uh, some people say that this is a knockoff Japanese motor. Even if it is, they put a three-year warranty on that. A lot of people sell their mowers within three years, so you're, I can't knock the motor. It runs. It's got a lot of power. I don't know if the audio is going to be showing during this mowing clip today, but this is uh, th three to four inches of a wet grass. The motor did not care. The blades cared a little bit, but not the motor. So the drive axles on these are hydro gears. It's in, it's in the 2000 range, uh, the 2000 series of motors, and it is on the lower end. Don't let that fray you from buying it. It still does seven miles an hour. It climbs every hill that I've tried to climb with it, and I've climbed some uh, hills that I shouldn't be climbing with. Uh, but with the lower end hydros on here, they do whine a little bit on startup. Once the oil gets wo uh, warmed up, the whining goes away so it's not an issue it's just something that comes with all 
hydro gear lower end units. All right, and also with the My Ride system, you can put it up here if you weigh a lot. You can put it way down here if you weigh nothing. And what that does, it just adjusts to your body weight. I keep it up here in the middle, uh, 200 pounds, and it's the perfect setup. There's no bottoming out. Uh, on this, it, it's all personal preference. You can use it to where you bottom out and get a softer ride, but you need to know where those bumps are where you're gonna bottom out because at seven miles an hour and you bottom out on this, it hurts your back pretty bad. Now the back tires on here, they are very wide for this mower and they are tall. That helps you get around on hills, it helps you with traction, it helps you with your suspension, it just helps all the way around. So right here on the smart speed system, I mow on turtle just because I like to take my time. My yard is not completely flat, so if I was going on the rabbit mode, seven miles an hour running through my yard, it is quite bouncy. So when I'm mowing, I keep it on turtle and they call the turtle the towing mode. Uh, the middle one is for towing actually. The turtle one's just for going slow or for newbies. You can put it down into top gear and that will give you your full seven miles an hour. Down in turtle, it doesn't do anything to the engine. The engine has nothing to do with this lever. It just has to do with how much power is coming out of these handles here. Let me see if I can put that I don't know if there's a range of difference. No, it's not a range of difference at all. So you still get full range of difference. The only thing that does is send power to the hydro gears, telling it to either put in a lot more oil or less oil, allowing you to do either do four miles an hour or seven miles an hour. Now out here in the field, I got a lot to mow. So I keep it on seven, I pump it up and get this field out of the way. But being as my backyard is on a hill, seven miles an hour going downhill on a zero turn and trying to stop is not a good thing so on the deck height adjustment it does go all the way from one and a half inches if you're cutting down there you're probably doing something wrong i like to cut mine at four inches that's what i cut my grass at at all times but it does go all the way up to four and a half inches again deck height is all personal preference and that depends on your yard so whatever deck height you want this mower's got it so along with the deck height, you do have an easy foot adjustment. Uh, and this does come in useful. If you're running through your yard, you have an old tree stump that hasn't been ground out yet. You got some roots coming out of the ground. You know you're coming up to it. Just push the pedal, lift the deck, get over whatever is going to be chopping up your blades and let it back down and continue mowing. Now the front casters, they are beefy. And along with holding the big tires and wheels, it makes for a very nice ride on this. Beyond the My Ride, the front casters are nice. And I do want to go into the caster, whatever you want to call these. These are meant for if you run into something hard and these break, you can just put a new one in. Well, I've hit a couple trees back here at four miles an hour, haven't broke one of these off. I don't want to hit one at seven. So I haven't ran into any issues on that yet. Uh, all in all, it's a great mower. I love the way it stripes. I'll actually throw in some photos because every time I mow my yard, I take a picture because I am so satisfied with the stripes and the cut quality of it. You can mow your yard on a single cut with this. The, I, I do double cut my properties every time that I mow them. Not back here in the field, just out here so it looks good for all the other neighbors. The grass that it throws out is very, very fine grass. It does an amazing job at cutting grass, and that's what it's designed to do. But with that, you know, grass is just laying on top. I like to cut that up a little bit finer, get that grass down into the topsoil, clean that grass up, make it look even more crispy, do a double cut on it. You get some amazing cross pattern stripes. And that is the only reason I double cut is just to make the yards look pretty. Otherwise, back here in the field, when I'm out mowing full speed, it's only one cut and I do not have a problem with it. So besides the three things, the belt cover, the grass flap, the oil tube, guys, I am 100% satisfied with this mower. Another thing I'd like to talk about on the end of here real quick, for those of you that are interested, everybody always wants me to compare this to the Apex. They want me to compare this to the Cub Cadet. I'm gonna tell you what, Cub Cadet's out of the picture. Aaron's Apex and this mower, I've 
fought with this battle day over and day over. I can't decide on which one I like better. I miss my Apex. If I was to sell this, I know that I would miss the suspension and cut quality. There are ups and downs to every mower that you buy, but this mower, for the price point, I absolutely love it, and I would still 100% recommend go out and buy it. That's not because of a sponsor. That is because that is my honest thought on this. So guys, if you enjoyed this three month review, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, and I will see you in the next one. Well, as I'm I out. look up and I ask, can I please just catch a break? I got my rod and my reel, and I'm headed to the lake. Monday, Monday Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday Thursday. Thursday. I just dream of fishing while I'm going through my work day. I listen to my boss, though he's driving me berserk. Eh? Damn it, I can't take much more because my brain is really hurting. And now the bank is always calling and I don't know what to do. And I haven't bought a crankbait since like 1992. But the bass are out.